Let's start putting some of the ingredients together, at least. An energy rich liquid. Yes. Where do we put it? I brought some energy rich liquid. Is that battery acid? Mm, maybe. Who are we brewing this stimulant for again? For the love of my life. Well, for her sake, I hope that your life doesn't last too long. <laughs> An energy. An energy. Where do we put it? Hmm. The water's still lacking something reviving. Oh, okay. Cool. Oh, energy rich clean. Oh, we actually put it all together. Cool. I already have the special water, at least. Okay. Now, makes sense, kind of. Okay, now we got that. Can we now put it in the machine? Into the tank you okay. go. Cool. Okay, so now let's put some of the coffee powder in there as well. The powder obviously has to go into this tray. So, I have the powder already. Well, that's it. I found all the ingredients. Wonderful! I can't even tell you how excited I am to see what happens next. Y but I thought we were making espresso. Yes, you are right. This is an august moment, my friend. We shouldn't spoil it by worrying about the pressure within the nuclear core structure. Pressure within the nuclear core structure? Hear me, gods of our forefathers. Using just the most refined ingredients and the highest possible compression, we beseech thee, open the gates to the espresso verse. Holy smoke. More pressure, more pressure. Okay, uh, okay. Don't think you made kick it. Uh, Rufus? <gasps> are we... Are we dead? No. Being dead feels completely different. And how would you know that? As you know, I have gazed deep into death's eyes more than once in my life. Oh, sure. now that you mention it, that reminds me. Is Tony still wearing those contact lenses? Shh! Something's happening. Well. Ouch! Whew. I think this brew is gonna do the job. Well, the machine is ruined. For one espresso. Lonzo. Ah, oh, Rufus. Did you come to help me clean this place up? Well, you know, I got this thing going on. I'll come back later, okay? Eh, okay, let's just go, just wake her up. So let's go to the assembly hall and give her whatever concoction this is and in hopes that it's gonna actually wake her up. Not necessary. What's that stinging smell? That's medicine. Says who? Says I. And who's the doctor here? <laughs> you tell me. Let's say it together. Me. me. It's a draw. Best out of three. You. you. Me. You. Ha! Ah, I win. Oh, crap. Hmm. I'll have to stick the... F Can I siphon it? Because I don't think we could actually get it in her mouth. What's that supposed to be? Well, I just want to stick this funnel into her mouth. Not as long as I am her acting physician. And I, her acting mayor. So I'm going to have to do something with these two. Can I make that fire? Let's see. Oh yes, I can. What's that funny smell? Ah! Fire! The town hall's on fire! Fire control mode activated. Firefighter Gizmo at your service. Where is the fire? Over there! The chamber's on fire! Good lord! Don't worry, your fire will be extinguished in no time. 
He goes right in there. Well, that's not safe. Am I gonna have to get rid of you somehow, too? Let's see. <sighs> Click it, there you go. Don't even think about it, Rufus. It's mine now. Keep your it's... hands off the Elysian, Rufus. But this situation calls for a funnel right there. What? No! What makes you think that? Oh, all right. But hey, one day, you'll beg for a funnel down your throat, and then I'm expecting an apology. Take the stethoscope. Finally, I was getting worried I'd have to camp in the cupboard forever. Whoa! Where was I? Ah, yes. Medical mode activated. Dr. Gizmo at your service. How's the patient? I'd say her condition hasn't changed. Leave the diagnosis to the doctor, will you? You oh, asked. Just where is my stethoscope? It's gone. Thieves! Crime in progress. Police mode activated. Officer Gizmo at your service. No one leaves the crime scene. Probably don't want to use it right now, then. <laughs> Gizmo might think Wenzel has stolen the stethoscope, but how could I plant it on him without him noticing? The thing is almost as big as him. <laughs> Aw, poor Mir. Uh, uh, but Rufus! You're not untouchable, Lotech. Don't you ever forget that. That's enough. I think you're done. Uh, come on, Gizmo. You have more important things to do. Don't tell me how to do my work. Or are you just trying to divert my attention from your guilt? What? That's simply... Aha! Here is the missing clue. The last piece that completes the puzzle. The mystery of the thieving mayor has finally been solved. Thieving mayor? How dare you? Put up your hands, Lotek. I have no intention of lifting my hands. You better do what I say. I don't want to. You don't have any choice. I don't? Well, you're fired. You can't fire me. You're arrested. You can't arrest me. You're fired. But I arrested you first. So what? You're fired anyway. You can't fire me. You're arrested. This can go on forever. You can't arrest me. Else to tell you're you hear fired. Wenzel? I don't I have arrested anything you else first. to tell you. So what? You're fired anyway. You can't fire me. You're arrested. You can't arrest me. You're fired. But I arrested he you first. Arrested. He doesn't even... So what? You're fired anyway. You can't fire mm -hmm. me. You're arrested. You can't arrest me. What, You're even fired. Know what to do with him. I arrested you first. So what? Uh, You're fired can't anyway. Now. You can't fire me. You're arrested. You can't arrest me. You're oh, fired. Oh, yes, I can. They're distracted. I arrested you first. <laughs> So what? Uh, I... What... Well... How was that? Me. It was me. <laughs> oh, we lost a tooth. Rufus? Are you alright? Oh, oh, what happened? You woke the stranger, the Elysian girl, and then you got knocked out. Dole? Where is she? How is she? She's still a bit confused. I think her implant was seriously damaged by the fall. She is conscious now, but she's just talking gibberish. Can I talk to her? Of course. She's lying over there. I took her into medical custody. Just don't stress her out too much. First and foremost, she needs rest now. No problem. Thanks, Doctor. Goal? It's me, your savior. Doodle, doodle, doodle. Pups? No, it, it's Rufus. Uh... Yes? Pups? You can give me any name you like, babe. Oh, Lord. Say, oh, this corner a lot when you fell from the sky. <laughs> uh... Oh, come on, that was funny. Because, I mean, you you really fell from the sky, you know, like an angel. <laughs> Just like in the in the pickup line. <laughs> d d d you get it? Hello? Anyone home? Um, um, home, home. I'll take that as a yes with limitations. Get a hold of yourself. Soup, 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 Guadeloupe. Yeah. 
She's attractive and fun to talk to. Ah, uh, flash dash kazash? <laughs> Savvy mommy, good old granny. Grumblump? That's a false. Nom, 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 nom. It's gone forever, so let's get along. Heck, this is totally useless. That woman is completely nuts. Bonkers, swonker, kazonkers. Oh, what did I expect anyway? That she would take me to Elysium? Elysium. We need to go back to Elysium. What did you just say? Horrible things. The Organon betrayed us. Quick. We need to go back. To Elysium. Yes, yes. You, you, you remember what happened? Is that you, Cletus? What? No, I'm not. My, my name is Rufus. I saved you. Rufus? I don't understand. Where am I? You, you had a pretty bad fall. The doctor says that you're hallucinating. That's confusing, but... <sighs> I need to get to Cletus. Can you take me to him? Who is Cletus? My fiancé. Oh. Well, I don't know. Maybe you are safer down here. After all, you... He'll reward you generously. Oh, that, uh, uh, generously, you say? Try to contact Cletus. He will search for me. Yeah, yeah. How generous exactly is generous? Maybe you can reach him using a radio. He's certainly trying to find me. Do you really think that's a good idea? I mean, for a fiancé, he didn't really make much of an effort to protect you. Rufus, please. You're the only one I can trust. Yeah, that sounds about right. I really am the only one you can trust. The only one. And you already proved that you're of noble character. Mm-hmm. The burden of the hero. But let's get back to the expression, generous. Rufus, please, contact Cletus. I would be so very thankful. So very, very thankful. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't know if I could do that. Can spam when tomo polo lollipop? Peekaboo. But. Bootem swadikosu loka shootipop. Oh, the burden of the hero. Why do I always have to be so infinitely generous? Alright, I guess let's contact the fiance with the radio. Should be in the mayor's office. Uh, so let's go there quickly. See. Next, please. Oh, it's just that. Mm. Wait, not the telly typewriter. This technology is a catastrophe. This technology. Oh, no. Of stealing, but all right. He'll never be anything but a slug of bed. Let's take back that funnel. We do something with this microphone. Dig it, sure. Oh, this this opens the clock. I mean, the open. Um, I think the post office is open. Me, oh my! I think. Yeah, right. You didn't expect that now, did ya? <laughs> no. No, right? <laughs> okay, let's go to the post, post office. Oh, post bot. Uh, hi. Please state your business. I want to place a forwarding request. State the reason for your forwarding request. Well, I'll be living in Elysium in the future. Self-importance error. Oh. <laughs> Where can I make a radio call? Outgoing radio calls can be made from every registered private radio device. 
Where would I find one of these registered private devices? There is no radio device registered for long distance calls. What's that supposed to mean? It has to be possible to make outgoing calls somehow. Not while using a private radio device. Are there other radio devices registered? There are three registered devices for local calls. One is situated in the mayor's office, another at the front desk counter in the town hall. The communication system of the emergency station is the third one. But it's only possible to make internal calls from there? Well, that's perfect. Hmm. What's that scratching noise? Is that coming from behind the hatch? Yes. It's the Postal Service replacement cat scratches you catch. The scratching from behind the hatch matches that of Postal Service replacement cats exactly? It's the unlatched Postal Service replacement cat's hatch. Wow. Okay. See you later. Let's open the hatch. Oh, kitty. A cat in a hamster wheel. Aw, cute and strange. Can't do anything to the kitty though. Hmm. So I'll have some espresso. Can I give you some espresso? <laughs> right. It can really speed up a bit. Come on, kitty, kitty, kitty. Oh, I am. Hey, hey, hey. Poor cat. The coffee makes it work faster. <laughs> I should apply for a job as producer for a video game developer. Sorry, kitty. Uh, can we post in these vouchers? I've got these gift vouchers from Tony's shop. Gift vouchers verified. One light lead weight from storeroom one. Supply your address now. Where, where, where to? I mean, what? I, I, I don't know. That's a good question. Address verified. What? Dispatch initiated. Postage being scanned. Error, error. Postage paid is half as much as it should be. Dispatch canceled. Please place new order. Interesting. Oh, there's another hatch. What's in this one? Oh, it's another kitty. So a cat licks the stamps? Well, I hope it knows what it's doing. A bit too slow or a bit too fast and whoops-a-daisy, the package gets the wrong postage. Okay, we have some espresso for this kitty too. <laughs> right, it can really speed up a bit. Poor cat. Come on, kitty, kitty, kitty. Hey, 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 the coffee makes it work faster. <laughs> I should apply. I already made that joke. Okay, is there any other hatch that I could possibly make the kitty? Oh, there's a replacement kitty hatch. Oh. Error, error. All right, Can't suit yourself. There, fine. Thank you guys for watching my video. Please like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.